Greetings, Forward Fox here, and welcome to another quick guide video for Civilization V Brave New World. Here I'm focusing on a naval rush strategy to enable you to acquire another nation's capital quickly and with little resistance. So I start with building a monument in my capital and selecting writing technology. I find this strategy useful when you spawn on a coastal region because it not only allows you to extend your reaches to other continents early but it gives you a good tactical position in knowing exactly where other civilizations are. I go for tradition in the social policy tree and the first tenets I choose is aristocracy to allow me to build wonders quicker. Now that writing's finished, I can select the great library to build in my capital. It also gives me an opportunity to not only pick up technologies on the way to optics and compass in order to get the naval units I need to attack other civilizations, but also pick up the technologies I need to improve my capital's tiles. Abandoning the tradition tree and moving on to the liberty tree enables me to get a free worker and a free settler in the first part of the game while I'm focusing all of my production in my first city to building naval units. So now that animal husbandry is finished, I'm going to go straight for optics to get me the first of the naval units as well as cargo ships and the great lighthouse. So that's sailing finished and another policy, I select the worker in order to improve tiles. And now the Great Library is finished. When choosing the free technology that the Great Library gives you, make sure that you choose something that's going to benefit you in the short term, but is also on the way to Compass. I choose to select Philosophy and instantly build the National College to further increase the rate at which I improve to Compass. As I'm going to be building naval units to strike out of my main capital, it's important to go masonry. This is so you can build walls and make sure that if anyone does attack your city, you have a chance at defending it. So now that my city settles in a little bit, I'm going to head straight for Compass now. What is I use this time to build some melee naval units in order to defend my trade routes. Three th this the Great Lighthouse is a good wonder to have for this strategy. It gives you plus two movement for all naval units which is very beneficial for covering long distances. So now that I'm getting closer to Compass and Gallius, the naval unit I need to start attacking other cities, I choose to negotiate embassies with other civilizations. As you can see, Jakarta at the top of the screen is a prime target. So now London is churning out galleasses. I like to attack cities at this stage of the game of at least three of them, but I'm also building enough to defend my home cities and my trade routes. Now that I'm ready, I start moving my naval units around the coast towards Jakarta. And so the war begins, here's the siege of the city.
hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave me a like, a comment, and a subscribe if you do. Forward Fox, over and out.